Yo, so Regis says that he wants Ryan Garcia or Timo Fimo Lopez at 140 after the Devin Haney fight. Man, I don't think Regis is going to get past Devin. Even though I think that it's going to be a tough fight. I think this is going to be a tough fight for Devin Haney. I think that Devin Haney is going to learn a lot in this fight. I think that it's going to elevate Devin Haney game. Again, this is why I love Devin Haney and his pop. Because when you fight better competition, you continue to get better. Fighting guys that's not better than you does nothing for your career. They can say whatever they want to say about Devin. But Devin is fighting guys that's supposed to give him a challenge. He fought Momachenko. He's fighting uh, Regis Progress. He fought Cam Bolsas. Everybody said when Cam Bolsas destroyed uh, uh, Timo Fimo Lopez, that Cam Bolsas was going to hurt Devin Haney and all this other stuff. And look what happened. I'm telling you guys, Devin continued to keep fighting competition. I don't believe that Regis is going to be able to get by Devin. So you naming Ryan Garcia, you name a team of Fimo Lopez for what? For what? You need to worry about Devin Haney. Because, because if you get past Devin Haney, you know, payday goes up. I don't even know if you want Ryan or Timo Fimo Lopez. I mean, damn, you get past, past Dev and you Regis, I mean, you better start thinking about making a catch weight to fight Javante. Like, like at that point, but we're going to see, you know what I mean, exactly, because, you know, I don't feel as though that I think Javante could fight Regis because of the, it's not no really, it's not a severe height difference. I think with anybody else at 140 and how big they is, it's a fair height difference. There's a little bit of problem for uh, Javante, so it's going to be a problem. But I just believe that Javante can fight uh, Regis. But I, I just don't want Regis. Stop counting your chickens before they hatch. Facts.